bear. I, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. Let's yeah. uh, see what we do. And welcome back to Boss and the Bear. I'm Jocelyn the Boss. And I'm the Bear. And we're playing Sonic Adventure. I just uh, finished the third level in the Knuckles campaign. So there's two levels to go, and I, I think there's a couple of boss fights, including my favorite Yay. boss fight. This one right here. There's Sonic. Eggman was right. Uh, Eggman was right in what way? Eggman is like, never there. right. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, so we're just gonna let. <sighs> okay, my least favorite thing in all of media forever is mis hey, is like no. stupid misconceptions. Uh huh. Like this Don't mind bullshit. Me, I'm like poking at one of my teeth here. Um, Whoa, I just I hate it. Doing? Knuckles, you fucking know Sonic. Right. You've known Sonic for years and years and years. You what could just be like, hey Sonic, why the fuck do you have a piece of the Master man. Emerald? I would like that. And then Sonic can be like, oh man, Knuckles, like, there's this whole thing's happening. The Emerald. He couldn't say, like, the Master Emerald and immediately clear up this misunderstanding. Yeah. But he, because he said the Emerald, it's just like, oh, Ugh. well, now we have to fight. Yeah. And it's just, it's so contrived and it's so stupid. And I can't stand it. It just, like, makes me angry. It makes me furious because, like, oh, no. just talk. Oh, no. Just talk to each other. Just communicate. Like, Why don't you talk to each other? Why don't you? Oh, God. Um, That's the immediate way to calm Bear down is just start singing uh, Steven Universe at her. Singing Steven Universe. Singing Steven Universe. We should use that as a singing warm Singing Steven Universe. I don't know why I, my tongue could not wrap itself around that. Title of your next sex tape. Um, Steven Universe. Okay. Rebecca Sugar has the biggest... Toner, uh, which is a, a musical boner, uh, as you may <laughs> as, okay. as you may know from the movie Pitch Perfect. Um, Rebecca uh, Sugar has a massive toner for seventh chords. Just really? like she does every like if she can shoehorn in a seven chord, she just will. And like, not hating on it, I also love seven chords. I think it's delightful. It makes her music sound really interesting and unique, um, and it gives it a really cute sort of style to it. But also just like, girl, girl. I mean, maybe if you know stuff about musical theory, that might have made sense to you. Sorry, everybody. Um, yeah. I know a little bit, so I know what a seventh chord is. I just, yeah. like, don't. But it's just, I like. I guess I haven't noticed that as much as you do. I don't seventh have... chords are off because um, they're usually used. You usually do, like, a seventh chord into, like, the major chord. Sonic's not even facing the right way. Yeah, he's, like, not even paying attention to anything that's he's happening right now. He's it up over there. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. You um, were saying about music. It has to do with like resolving chords, yeah, chord yeah. progressions, and all kinds of stuff. But no, she's just like seventh chords everywhere, no resolution. Who gives a shit? And it's like, okay, cool. Nothing matters. Nothing exists. Nothing is real. I'm in. Um. So about Steven Universe, mm. I've never been able to get into it, mm. which is weird, because like it's a show about lesbian space rocks, which are literally my <laughs> le three favorite things. But for some reason, I just, I, I, I can't get into it. It just, like, it just exists in this part of my mental psyche that's just like, eh, it's all right. It's all right. It's not. Um, God. I love, I love Steven Universe so yeah, much. Yeah, you and literally everybody I know. I know. Or, like, am aware of, pretty much. Like, I'm, I'm, I love it so much that I'm, like, hyper aware of all the criticisms of it. Well, that's the thing is, like, uh <laughs> it's, it reached that point of saturation where now, like, there's so many people who are into it that, like, everyone's devolved yeah. into, like, this thing of, like, picking apart every little problem with it. And, like, yeah. I love my Tumblr dashboard is lit up with hot, <laughs> spicy, terrible discourse. Right? Um, even, I can't remember what it was, but it was somebody, somebody would doing, like, uh, essentially what Steven Universe is. It is. So this is basically Steven Universe. Yes. And the Shout out to Jello Apocalypse. <laughs> uh, you're a much bigger channel than us. Yes, I really like your stuff. It's really good. You pointed out to me the fact that Amethyst is kind of an awful person, which like every, basically the discourse is, is that every character in Steven Universe is like kind of an awful person sometimes. Well, they're flawed is the yeah. thing. I don't, I don't really know what specifically makes Amethyst an awful person, but like, love you, Jello Apocalypse. We're not trying to throw <laughs> shade here, but 
his uh, video on Gravity Falls was just like, oh, Mabel always gets what she wants. And I'm like, she really doesn't is the thing. She makes mm. lots of compromises in the series. It's true. But I have very complicated feelings about Gravity Falls as well. Yeah. Like the ending stuff with Mabel, um, I can see how it could leave people with a bad taste in their mouth about her character because like, but it's, it is very much like she's finally got this thing that like she really loves and cherishes and like. She's being selfish, but usually, honestly, Dipper kind of gets his way most of the time. Yeah, that's the thing is, like, the situations where their goals are in conflict is usually because Dipper wants to, you know, do stuff to Wendy. And mm. that's not going to happen because there's an age gap there that's, like, not, Wendy's not going to ignore that. Mm. So, like, it's, it, it doesn't seem, it just, it really bugs me that, like, you know, we're supposed to take Dipper's side on those things. Because mm -hmm. I don't think we're actually supposed to. I just think a lot of the fandom does. Yeah. And I'm like, no, uh, no. Not to win Dipper Shipper over here. Honestly, no. Wendy is gay as heck. Um, I kind of like, <laughs> like the idea. What, what's her What's her friend? Camry? I, I don't remember. Camry sounds right. Yeah, like the cute purple-haired one. Yeah, yeah. The one I, that was like going out with Robbie at the end of it. Yeah. Oh, right. We watch Robbie a lot of Tamri cartoons, y'all. together. That was a thing. Well, it was like, yeah. because Mabel casts uh, love spells. <laughs> anyway. Right. Mm, mm, mm. They're both severely coded gay. I'm just saying. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I feel like Wendy's the kind of person where she's going to, like, date Robbie a bunch until she goes away to university. Like, date Robbie on and off until she goes away to university. And then they'll do the long distance thing for a while. And then she's going to realize she's going to get invited to, like, one drama kid party and everybody's going to start making out. And she's going to be like, nothing matters. I can Woo. kiss girls. Same, though. For real. Woo. Shout out to people in our drama club <laughs> that will remain nameless. But, uh... Yeah. Has a reputation for those <laughs> kinds of parties. Yeah, we're just like everybody. Yeah. Oh, so hey, speaking of throwing shade. Yeah. I just want to like this off mist line of Sonic right here. Yeah. Hey, Knuckles, whatever happened to your unfinished business? Uh huh. I just, I love that. Just, unfinished it's, it's business. It's salty. It's just like, because you say, oh, I can't go with you because I have unfinished business. Oh. You go and talk to him. He's like, oh, I guess your unfinished business wasn't too important after all. I'm Sonic. Everything's about me and my life. This whole game is called Sonic Adventure, not Sonic yeah. and his like five friends. Only well, three of them, like, are, two of them are actually friends. One's just a weird, clingy love interest, and no one even knows who the other two are. Well, like the, I wouldn't even say that Knuckles and Sonic are like friends. Let's check this out. Um, um, <laughs> I'm just walking on top of the uh, background geometry. <laughs> what? Well, you... like. Oh, oh, there they, we go. They kind of coded this so that, like, there's a path to follow. And mm -hmm. you're supposed to, like, climb down this ladder to get onto this path. Yeah. But I didn't do that. But no. <laughs> Instead, I just... Oh, hello. What's in here? But jokes. Oh, oh. What is, is it? I, this is what I have to find later when I don't oh. have the statue carrying with Oh, me. I see. So I have to remember how to get here because no map. Anyway. No map. Um, The pre-map days. Yeah, they, like, decided, nah, who needs a map? This, people will just memorize this lush environment by right, themselves. Right, totally. What was I talking about? Steven Universe? Cartoons? No. Um... Oh, yeah, walking on the geometry. So, right. like, they didn't really anticipate that someone would just jump off and try to, like, run into it. So instead, you can just walk on top of things. Oh, sick. So, yeah. yeah, I was kind of wondering what was up with you, like, walking across the treetops. It was... They fixed it in, like, the director's cut, the mm. DX version of this, but we're playing oh, yeah. old-school Dreamcast style. The original. So none of that here. We're playing the bug... Well, original. some of the bugs fixed, but most of the bugs not fixed. Yeah. With its... Like... Oh, people are really passionate about this game, I found out. Uh-huh. There's, like, entire tutorials about how to make the Steam version of this game look like the Dreamcast version. Oh, my gosh. For real? Because it's... Like, that important to people, apparently. Oh, God. Like, yeah. how different is the Steam version, I wonder? Like, um, it like I could just buy it. It has it cleaner textures and, like, mm -hmm. brighter lighting everywhere. Mm -hmm. But it's, like, it looks very different. Yeah. It, you can see 
most other people who played this game on YouTube or whatever in their own Let's Play channels use that, that version, version of it. Okay. Because like it's an adaptation of the GameCube version, which is a more popular more I think it probably yeah. sold better just by virtue of more people had GameCubes and Dreamcasts. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know how the exact numbers but like generally speaking, if you're looking online for Sonic the Hedgehog footage, you're going to find so that's the level entrance. Just jump in. Oh, jump out. Oh, just like. But now it's actually activated. So here I go. Lost World. Lost. Lost World Jurassic Park. Oh, boy, oh boy. The Knuckles levels. I'm just blowing through this. Oh, hey. It's right here. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. Oh, it's, in, it's inside this guy, I bet. Oh. Nope. Should probably get a ring. Feel oh, there it is. Did you. Is it floating around in a circle? Yeah, it was, um, where'd it go? It was. Go to your right. Uh, looking around. There it is. Oh. Yeah. I think that's the other one, actually. I think that's this one. Oh, well then. Oh my god, it popped in before the crate texture popped in. Yeah, no, uh, this one, okay. All right, oh. there he is. There. Got him. It was oh, inside an enemy. Uh, Yay. All right. Is that a little tiny gorilla? Yeah. And uh, you can give them to your chows and give them the gorilla features. As we covered, I don't know, about six episodes ago at this point. Gorilla. Okay, so up here. Mm. I think I know exactly where it is. That's the thing. You do play these levels often enough, you like learn some of the more popular hiding spots that mm. like will confound you the first few times, and then you'll see it. It's like, oh, this is a very iconic location. Oh, I well, I know. This. Yeah. And I think this is one of them right here. Yeah. Yep, right in between these two. Yeah. Do, 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 but you, but you, ba, ba. To like get the top rank in these levels, you have to beat them in under a minute. That's yeah, no. ridiculous. And I don't know. You know, it really comes down to luck, especially in the bigger levels. Mm. You know, I was just like sitting here thinking about like, God damn it, I can't believe Jocelyn still knows like every fucking secret in this game. Like after all this time, as if I don't have a copy of Pokemon Snap that I can just pick up and finish in like an hour and twenty minutes. Well, like, because I know where all of it is. Every bit. Memorized completely. I was talking about this before. I didn't have a whole lot of games growing up. Mm. Like, especially, like, Dreamcast games were expensive. And mm. so, like, I would get a new one maybe, like, every half a year or so. It was, like, for my birthday and for Christmas. And maybe, like, if I got some bonus money around, around summertime, because yeah. I think I did once. Then I would like save up and I'd use it to buy myself a brand new Dreamcast game. I think all told, I ended up my whole Dreamcast library consists of six games. I think we have six games just now. Well, yeah, because we like went to a fucking thrift <laughs> store and like bought a couple for a dollar each. I'm so excited. I am super excited so for that, actually. Jazzed. Our two player things. Uh, well, um, that sure is a loading screen that's taking a long time to load. Um. Hmm. <laughs> um. Um. So, hey, everybody, <laughs> we're just going to call this an episode and fix, uh, this off screen. fix this off screen real quick. <laughs> um, 